Hi, my name is Reed Kaumoro. I'm with Kaumoro Orchid Nursery. We're here in Honolulu, Hawaii, in Pololo Valley, way back in the valley. Uh, we're one of the few nurseries left that sell orchids in Honolulu nowadays. It's, this is a third generation business. I'm the third generation. My grandpa, Patrick Kaumoro, started this business in 1947 in Manoa Valley. Then he moved, this, moved to this nursery in 1974 in Pololo Valley, a bigger property. And now my dad is running it and I'm slowly taking over. <laughs> The type of orchid we grow mostly are cattleyas, the big, bigger, larger flower types. Um, from there, you know, it, it takes five years, five to six years to get to blooming size, you know, and then you still got to bloom it. And this is in Hawaii. We got ideal climate, temperature, you know, everything, the humidity, way too much humidity. <laughs> um, you know, we got pretty ideal climate. So we got an advantage over the people on the mainland, the other nurseries growing it on the mainland is where we can probably get our plants to bloom a little faster. What the day-to-day -day operations are, you know, a lot of times where it's planting, weeding, cleaning, most of the time it's keeping the nursery clean, you know, um, we do ship a lot of retail, a lot of orchids going to the mainland. I would say average between three to 500 a week. You know, we put a lot of shredded wax, shredded wax paper or, or newspaper around the leaves to protect the leaves and we roll them in newspaper. Then we tape, I mean, we really tape it in the box so it doesn't move around. So usually average between 150, between 100 and 150 boxes a Monday. You know, we sell a lot on eBay. The internet has changed how the industry is run. We, we used to do a lot of mainland shows or participate in a lot of orchid shows, but now, no, we don't really have to do that anymore. <laughs> yeah, we just stay home and we, we, we put the plants online, take pictures of the individual plants. And I would say it takes me two days to pull out 300 plants or more closer to 400 probably. And we have to clean the plants too. You know, you can't just take a picture of the plant natural because then it doesn't look that nice. So we stake it up. We have to, you know, wipe the leaves a little, make it shiny. You know, it's a long process, you know, and then I, ha I have, right now I have two eBay posters that my stepson, uh, one of my longtime workers, Kaipo, they, they, they list the plants. People want to know how big the flower is, if it's fragrant, how long does it last? Does it bloom twice a year? <laughs> so we have to put everything in the description. The more thorough you are, the less questions I have to answer on Sunday. <laughs> You guys filmed us decorating the Alamon Hotel. We've been doing that for 25 years at least. I've been doing it since I was a young boy in high school. Yeah, we used to do it at two o'clock in the morning. Oh, thank God management has changed and they let us come in, the, you know, in, in the afternoon. And it usually takes about an hour, not bad, you know. We, we you know, five of us go in and we, we break down the old one. We put a new one in every six weeks. I have somebody go in there, water and change the plants out. Some of the, you know, some, you know, sometimes the tourists, they pick the flowers, you know, they, or the people that go into the nightclub, they pick the flowers, you know, they, they, they go, is that real? And they pick it and it breaks. And, you know, my worker has to go in and, oh, humbug, they, they, they broke the flower. So I ha they have to go change it. And he waters once a week. We drench it really well. Every six weeks, we change it out. 
So it, it's 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 a it's a stable income, <laughs> very stable, thank God. <laughs> yeah. These are the most common questions I get. Why is my orchid dying? A lot of times what happens is people, they buy the plant from me, they take it home, you know, they'll buy a, a plant in a four inch pot that's happy in here, good for another year in this pot, and they'll put it in a six to eight inch pot, okay? That's one key area error that I always see. They take pictures and show me what they did. I'm like, oh, why did you put it in an eight inch pot? You know, it was hot. Orchids, okay, the key with orchids is they like water. They don't like to stay wet, okay? So they like it tight in the pot. They want to dry off within a couple days, you know? And you, usually most orchids you water, I would say twice a week. In Hawaii, we water twice a week. We drench them. The sprinkler goes on for 15 minutes. We use fertilizer in the sprinkler, you know, water system. That's one of the m most, my pet peeves when people tell me, oh, my plant, I repotted and it's not growing well. I'm like, oh, you use, you know, and they use dirt. Another thing to orchids, no, they don't like dirt. Dirt's bad for orchids. They hold too much water. They might do good at first, but after six months, bacteria, you know, yeah, the drainage is very poor. So, you know, that's the thing with orchids. They like good drainage, um, aeration in the roots and so forth. You know, that's why we use bark. Um, that, those are some of the, the key things that people do. You know, a lot of times they throw them outside in full sun. The leaves burn. You know, they don't realize they've been greenhouse grown in 50% shade. Um, we have to cover a lot of our greenhouses here in the valley. Um, our greenhouses all have phylon, you know, because it rains here too much. It rains here every morning or every evening, a little bit, you know. But yeah, but the orchids love the, the humidity. Yeah. Okay, this is what I, most people start off, let me be honest, the common Philanopsis orchid, the butterfly orchid. I mean, nothing wrong with it. It's a, it's a perfect house plant, in my opinion. My sister in Vancouver, Washington, that's all she can grow. <laughs> we sent, she gets orchids for free and she kills everything but the Philanopsis. In Hawaii, they're not as common. They cost more, you know, but on the mainland, they're, because they have so many Korean and Taiwan nurseries up there that they have grow 30 acres of one type of plant, it's become really inexpensive. <laughs> yeah, so I would say the Philanopsis, perfect house plant. The showroom is always open, so you can look around. The nursery itself, you can just wander around. We let, you know, you guys can, like I tell most customers, oh, if you see something, just bring it up, because a lot of time we don't have time to walk around with you, you know, and talk about the plant. So a lot of people just, a lot of locals like it. They can walk around, you know, look at the species on the wall. A lot of orchid societies come here. You know, most orchid societies, there's not too many nurseries to visit nowadays. And they're really happy when they come because they get to see and, you know, look at the different plants and see how it's grown. You know, when you come to the nursery, it's different. When you come to the source, yeah, it's, a, it, it's pretty impressive, yeah, when you walk around and you see, you know, 500 different type of orchids in this nursery. <laughs> at least 500, probably more. <laughs>